Hello everyone, it's RBG523, and I'm back from a Pokemon Tournament DX. I wanted to show off Krogunk's action and combo dojo. That way people can see what this character can do. Most of his moveset, as you'll see, is really RNG in stats. Um, I'll show some of what I figured out after the action and combo dojo ends, and one of the combos I've made up with those uh, things I figured out. But for the first part, for action and combo, I'm not going to say anything. That way people who just want to watch action, uh, Jojo and Combo Dojo, can get that out of the way and then hear me talking through it. So I'll be back at the end of this and you guys enjoy the rest of the video. more difficult combo. First off, try out this combo. Alright, next try this one. 
Okay, so that was the action at Combo Dojo. Got through all that. It's pretty much seen everything that the character can do. Here's some more in depth on the moves and what can cancel out on what. Um, most of the, as you see, the combo and action dojo, they don't tell you that you can do some of these things, so I just wanted to put this one up here too. That way you can really see, and like, okay, yeah, I can cancel out of this, do that. But um, you'll see if you. Scroll back, like, rewind, or go back. You see that some of these moves are just random sadness elements applied, and it's not like other fighting games where it is kind of like a sequence where okay, this effect's gonna happen here. After that, it's not like a rotation. It actually is completely random, as far as I can tell. Like when I've seen it, it seems completely random. So I'm gonna try and go over that with each move that has a random set element increase or has a random effect to it. That isn't affected by what you saw in Action Dojo, where some moves, if they had like a status element down, it would you know be buffed, or if they had a status element up, buff, or debuff, you know. I'm actually going to go over and show you all the different um, stat up downs and effects. So we're gonna get to that. The first move we're gonna I'm gonna show you is going to be uh, Acupress. Okay, so this move can do three things: increase your speed. It can decrease your speed attack, plus increase both of them. And it also gets your synergy um, gauge up like really fast. Like out of three of those, I got a max. Of course, like that's a little cut there, but still, that's like three. That was two, and I was like oh, almost like two thirds. Next thing is going to be a poison jab, which is said you flick status elements to your opponent, defense, and attack up or down. You can also might only be one status element as well. I think it's always defense, though, if it's a single one. Now, for the next move, which this one isn't one, but you don't see it in the uh, combo dojo. I mean, action dojo is foul play. So, as you can see, you can read that there. Basically, if the enemy attacks you with midair when you do this, you're going to throw down a bomb, which then lowers their defense and stops their combo HP. Now, apparently it increases in strength, depending on how strong the move is, but I couldn't really find like a way to do this for myself because I'm trying to use two Joy-Con controllers at once. So this is the only move I was able to test this on, really. Okay, so here's the next move, Gunk Shot. This one has a lot of RNG for this one. So this will save up most of the combos you're going to be doing, depending on what happens with this. So the first thing that can happen is Rock. You throw a normal rock, tiny rock, just 20 damage, nothing too crazy, I don't know if that one. Next one you can probably get is this goo, which if you get, if you hit the opponent with the goo itself just by out of your hand, you get defense down. And if they get hit with the pool that shows up, I'll show you, they get stunned. Like right here, get hit with that, it's just defense down. Right from that. But if they get hit by the pool, they get stunned. So you can follow up with combo. But the problem here is, 
it doesn't connect. It's not a true combo, so they can just block, and I get it by that. The next thing is the bombs. Bombs you can throw that out, they'll blow up after a certain amount of time. Nothing too crazy, do 100 damage. And this other one is where you self-destruct. This one, well at first it didn't seem like it would be that strong, but if you hit an opponent, it's like 132 damage. It's ridiculous. Now, Boulder is the last one which you can easily do follow-ups for this one. Pretty self right? throw it out. Um, they get stuck into it, you can do whatever you want really, if you're at a good position. And the final thing is Tornado. The Tornado, will you throw that out, it'll slowly move toward the enemy and then launch them into the air so you can follow up with whatever you want to do. If you throw it behind them, it will actually drag, move toward them too, so it'll actually push them toward you a little bit. If they're blocking anyway. And it works the exact same way in field phase as it does in dual phase, so nothing too different there. I'm gonna use it in the air. Um, Oh, then I guess Tornado moves a little bit further. <laughs> I think that's pretty much the only difference there. But, uh, yeah. The rest of this video is going to be about all the combos that I thought of in really the first couple hours of me playing as Protodunk. Um, I have some wall combos and combos that lead into Synergy Burst attacks. Which, some of them are pretty simple to do. And I have the, um, button inputs up. So you can see kind of what I did for most of these, even though they can't go by pretty quickly because I do to mash sometimes so I can at least get the input out but if you don't have any questions just ask me in the comments and I'll type it out like exactly like what is what but most of these aren't too crazy to do um I think probably the only one that is pretty insane is when you have to do this one right here actually that that <laughs> this is one of the harder one because you have to try and cancel your uh, double Y into a quick jump, directional down Y. It's that one's what I was one. Doing those cancels into that. The timing for that is pretty ridiculous. And then jumping right after this, no. That was the hardest thing for me. But anything that isn't like the uh, cancel on that, most of them aren't like that difficult. Once you get timing down, it's fine. You know, for most of these synergy burst attack combos, they scale like so much sometimes that probably just doing like these simple ones. I'm gonna show you in a bit, like these two hits or just one button and then just synergy burst attack. Probably the smarter options so you get more damage all of it. And you don't sound on people, but I mean, you make sure they're dead. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah, there's normal three Y, back Y, and then um. I believe you can just use your strong attack and then it's energy burst and it's the next one. Which is interesting. Like they do them throw the same damage, don't you have to do it in fancy things. So if you're one combo into synergy burst, you can just do this stuff. You don't have to do the crazy other stuff like my other one previous before, but that one was look pretty cool. You should try out, at least try to learn some of it. But no, that's pretty much it. So there's one last thing that I want to talk about, 
Corona because that's pretty much all the information I have. Is uh, though his stances, his high stance and his low stance. High stance, if you don't know, is if you hold the L button on the directional but um, pad on the uh, Switch controller, you're all going to the stance for each Pokemon has something different. Coral Gunk, his, it seems like he can charge Synergy Gauge. So basically, your Synergy points will start slowly increasing as long as you hold the button up. And if you hold down, you're just going to dodge a little attack. That's his low stance, a little crouch thing. But, I don't know, his high stance doesn't seem that useful since you can use acupressure and gear synergy back in like three acupressure attempts I don't see why they gave him this but you know whatever I guess to be kind of sly getting more synergy but yeah uh, that's pretty much it there's nothing else I have on Krogunk as far as I know this is like the first day of impressions of uh, combos and what I think I don't think he's really a good character. He's the crazy things he can do. All of the stats up and stats down on enemies, and they all. Like, there's nothing bad. If you give an enemy a stat up, it's not actually a bad thing for you. You can still steal that stat. Or, you have moves that actually increase damage on them, depending if they have a stat increase or a decrease. So, that's actually pretty crazy. And even for you, too. So, even if the RNG isn't in your favor, you can still have a way to work around it. So, I think that's actually a really good way. That they chose to go with this character. But um, if you want to see any other characters, like Empoleon, um, Desiodai, a Scizor, or Darkrai, just comment down below. Um, subscribe, like, you know, tell me if you like this type of weird information combo video. If not, then I'll just go straight in online stuff. You know, just put that into putting this whole setup. But I thought it'd be a good thing to try. I haven't tried this something like this like, at all so yeah i guess i'll see you guys in the next video